Okay, one, two, three. In the beginning, of course, Dixie was um, a walk around at the end of a end of a minstrel show, and was the opportunity to get everybody out on stage in their own characters, in their own costumes, dancing in their own kind of way to give a climax to the show. I wish I was in the land of cotton, old time there I'm not forgotten. Look away, look away, look away, Dixie Land. Look, it seems quite possible maybe even quite likely that Emmett got this tune, if not the words of the song, but maybe even the words of the song or some of the words of the song from the Snowden family. The Snowdens were a musical black family who lived in northern Ohio. They were the only black family there for, for actually quite a wide radius, but they, were, but they were very, very musical and people knew them as a musical family. I like to think that they played together and Dan Emmett just happened to learn the tune because he was playing with them. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can take it. When a song becomes a national hit, as Dixie was, it has to have a much more genericized meaning. Simmon Seed and Sandy Bottom wouldn't mean anything to somebody who was trying to sing this in their parlor, but old times there are not forgotten would mean a lot to Americans who are looking nostalgically even then at the good old days as America is changing. So it's not surprising that Emmett might have changed those lyrics to something more generally appealing and generic. You know, the South is way more complicated than people want to admit. You know, it's like you get all these stories about the South and it's all, you know, it's all racism and it's all poverty and it's all this and that. I mean, this, the South is, is just, it's a, it's a region of the country, you know, that people like to simplify, but it's, it's, it's complicated like anything else. After the Civil War, Dixie quickly became a symbol of the Southern lost cause, and there's no, no question that that's what it embodies yet today. It's too bad, really, we can't enjoy that tune much for what it is without thinking about the symbol for what it stands for anymore. Dixie and the Confederacy are intertwined. Uh, you can't separate them. And what did the Confederacy represent? Uh, it's slavery. I understand the history of Dixie. I know the irony of Dixie being written by a black man. But that doesn't make it right today. Um, the groups who galvanized around the song Dixie, around the Confederate flag, um, did so for some very real and hateful reasons. I'm the established person here. My song has been in existence. So if you're gonna come take it away from me or silence it, I wanna know why. I don't want it just to happen and you give me the highbrow treatment of, well, it's the right thing to do. We've gotta be inclusive. Well, how can you be inclusive if you're gonna be taking something away from me? That's not being very inclusive. I don't think anybody sat down and talked about it but it was just this awareness that the song Dixie, the rebel flag, and the word nigger were incendiary, were things that you just did not ever have equate with anything good. When Ole Miss would do well uh, and would score something and, and I would cheer, uh, the song Dixie would come on and I would get pelted. Uh, with all type of garbage and, and so that song soon began to take on very negative connotations uh, to me. Uh, it was nothing that I could 
actually be proud of, nothing I could participate in singing. So our thoughts were simple. If we could get America to see how the University of Mississippi was treating uh, its students, then it would be different. Things would change. Just because you like Dixie and you like the Civil War and Confederacy doesn't mean you're a racist. It doesn't mean that at all. The South has a, has a large number of traditions, and there should not be a blanket acceptance of these traditions across the board in terms of that it, ha it means this to me, and so that's what it should mean to everybody. Dixie belongs in a music museum. It doesn't belong in contemporary America. What things like Dixie can do is get people talking to one another. The hard part is getting to listen to one another.